All right, well, uh, here I am to tell you about what we talked about this Sunday. And this is one of those special Sundays where I actually literally did just talk about this, where we're here filming on Sunday afternoon. I talked about lowliness this morning. We talked about how Jesus has this disconnect with the disciples, where the disciples are all like hyped up on ministry success and they're flying high, they wanna be enthroned as kings basically. And, and Jesus is saying, I'm gonna to have to suffer, I'm gonna to have to die. And they're just, they're just not on the same page. And so Jesus just kind of hammers this home in a few ways. he One of the ways he takes a, a child and places the child in his lap. That would have been a good idea for this video, uh, but we didn't do it. So he takes a child, puts him in his lap, and says, whoever welcomes this child uh, welcomes me. Uh, he, he then uh, has this interaction with John about, uh, about someone who was driving out demons in his name, but wasn't part of them. He's going, no, whoever is uh, is not against us is for us. And then finally, he has this, this teaching about cutting off your hand and gouging out your eye, cutting off your foot if it causes you to fall away from faith in Jesus. And he's just saying again, look, even if it makes you look kind of weak and vulnerable in the world, he's not talking about literal amputation, but whatever would cause you to, to fall away from Jesus, get rid of it, cut it out, because nothing is more important than, than sticking with the one who saves us through his humility, through his suffering, through his death. Um, and so my, the one big question I ask kind of at the end of the service and that I'll ask again is, is simply this. How is God calling you to embrace lowliness in your life right now?